Hi guys, uh, my name is Pat. Uh, I just wanted to show you my new uh, Siggy Brown, uh, well, S type guitar uh, relic. So this is a, a version or their take on a on a on a Strat uh, guitar uh, with some uh, relicking. Uh, well, the guitar is built like none of the guitars you've ever had it's absolutely perfect in every way uh, the relicking uh, I asked Siggy not to damage it too much uh, I'm not sure if you can see it in this in this light some paint stripped over here there's a few dings on the body uh, so the paint is sort of cracked slightly uh, as it would when it was aged naturally and I asked Siggy not to uh, to damage the neck and the fretboard so they left that intact uh, usually you uh, sort of give some uh, marks on the fretboard as well to uh, uh, indicate some wear on the fretboard but I, I prefer my fretboards uh, clean because they, they, they hinder me when there's something not right uh, I'm not, I mean I'm, I never really liked really the guitars but this one is, is like fantastic I saw uh, Danish Pete uh, in uh, at guitar breaks in Italy uh, last spring in 2017, and he had a he's got a relic telly, and I was really surprised by the, I mean the fact that it feels so natural uh, and so played in, and I, I I really thought like maybe I should give it a try, and so I did when Sigi uh, showed me his S-type uh, relic telly. Yeah, I just needed to have one. So uh, there's household pickups uh, in there, uh, one humbucker and two single chords. Uh, I need a humbucker for the type of music that uh, we play. Uh, what else can I say? It all looks very traditional uh, on the parts. So no locking tuners. Sorry, there is locking tuners. I'm sorry, it's just a different type of locking tuners that I'm used to. I was I'm used to looking at the back, but of course the locking system is on the front uh, yeah well it sounds absolutely perfect it really cuts through I mean the the, the maple fretboard together with these pickups uh, really make the guitar cut through any mix it's really uh, aggressive which is which I really liked and I really need for the, the type of music I'm, I'm, I'm using this for uh, instead of just noodling around with the guitar uh, I thought I'd a few sounds that we will be using uh, with the band. Uh, the band I'm using this guitar with is uh, Project 80, which is a, a tribute to the new wave bands of the 80s. So we play music just from that era. Uh, we play it a bit more uh, contemporary, so it's a bit more uh, like punchy and, and, and gainy and, and, and um, ballsy, I think, than some of the for of the original uh, versions but yeah we, we start off we sort of excuse me we sort of try to pay homage to the bands and not damage the songs uh, too much uh, so I thought I'd give you a few sounds uh, I use a Boss ES8 switching system uh, which unfortunately because I do not uh, uh, have any editing options uh, you can't see it so I'm using a, a Wampler Ego compressor, a Wampler Tumblers, then a Dual Fusion from Wampler, an Amp Tweaker Fat Rock, an Amp Tweaker Swirlpool, uh, a Chorus CE5 from Boss, Chorus Ensemble, a Boss a Harmonist a PS6, this is one from the Watercraft series, uh, TC Electronic Hall of Fame, uh, <coughs> A Watercraft Boss Delay DM2W and a Phase 90 from MXR. Uh, and a volume pedal, uh, I think, Ernie Ball, yep. And I go straight into, uh, I'm uh, not straight, I go into a uh, uh, Victory V30 uh, counters. I don't really like the clean channel, but I really like the, the overdriven, the gain channel, uh, and all the songs except for one are. I just use high gain set uh, sounds, so the clean channel doesn't bother me too much. 
and for the one song that we do use a clean that I do use a clean sound I've got the one plot terminus to uh, fatten it up a bit and to give it a bit more uh, life uh, because the V30 on its own on the clean channel is to me it's a bit lifeless and sounds a bit uh, solid state actually uh, I mean I can show you that I mean don't blame the guitar this is just the amp and Brittle, uh, sounds good, but it's not. I've got a Laney uh, Lionheart, which sounds ten times as good. Uh, Magnator uh, Rebel 22, I think, brilliant. Uh, even the Lion 6 uh, DT50 or DT25 sound much better than V30 on the clean channel. On the driven drive channel, it's amazing. <laughs> It's perfect. So some of the sounds, I mean this is real life sounds, the sounds we use, uh, the first song we play is uh, Simple Minds. Uh, uh, theme f for greatest cities, I think it's called. Uh, it's an instrumental song, and that's that. With that one, we kick off the set. Uh, it's one of the best new wave songs, and it's very uh, for me. It's 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 the pinnacle of new wave uh, in instrumental music. I mean, they've, they've done a great job on that one. Uh, the production is absolutely fabulous. Uh, we stay very close to the original. I programmed all the synths uh, on a computer. We got that on backing track, so there's just uh, bass, guitar, and drums that we play live, and all the rest is on a, on, on a backing tape. Um, so it sounds very close to the original. Uh, I use a sort of a roll up. Let me look. Yep. I'm sorry, I just pressed the wrong button on the ES8. Yep. Yeah, there you go. I didn't see the light. I use a, a bit of a uh, amp tweak swirl on the intro, so we got a bit of a vibe, go, a uni vibe sound. But on the intro, I do nothing more than just. So you can sort of hear even in. The Swirl happening, and in the well, the chorus part. Uh, excuse me. In the chorus part, I uh, turn off the the vibe, and it's just straight. Chorus. So that's the first song, and you can hear that the humbuckers really sound thick and fat and, and aggressive and because of the construction of the guitar and the woods they used it really cuts uh, nicely. I, I used to play uh, dual humbucker guitars on that uh, set. Uh, it seems to me like with, with this guitar it cuts through even more. Uh, the, 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 the LP kind of guitar that I had before, I used before, uh, was really fat and thick and warm and punchy but it sort of sometimes sort of got lost in the mix because our bass player is really up front and uh, the drummer is really punch as well. So with this guitar, uh, I don't have to play so loud and still be very uh, high up in the mix or audible in the mix, so which, is, which is really good. Uh, then we play Safety Dance from uh, Man Without Hats, I think. Nothing much going on there, it's just chords. <laughs> Some chorus going on as you as you could hear. Uh, next song is Shaved from uh, Fat Gadget, and that one I uh, it's a it's a four chord song. I mean, it's not, none of these songs are really difficult, uh, and the chords are uh, D C and then uh, F and G. And it goes on. I do nothing more in the chorus, in the verse, except uh, playing with feedback. 
and the response uh, this guitar gives me on the feedback part is just fantastic. I, I press a chord and all the harmonics they just jump out straight away. I mean that's a D chord, it's, it's a full D chord, there's no harmonics that are not supposed to be there uh, popping out, it's just play the chord and all the right all the right harmonics uh, just come out just like that and I'm not playing loud now I could talk I probably talk over the sound so you can it just picks it up without the guitar being loud I can even do it with harmonics if I just... Fantastic. Uh, next song we do is Eisbär. Oh yeah, this is, Ger this is a German band called uh, Krautzone. Uh, the guitar part is really uh, clean with a lot of uh, compression. So I use the Ego. Uh, Compressor from Wampler and I add the tumblers to get a bit more gain and also because a clean channel on the, on the amp is not really exciting enough. So this is just clean. Can't hear it uh, because I'm using an iPhone, but the, 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 the strati sound of this guitar is just it's just there, it's straight away there. Little noise, the guitar is full up now. If I touch A string, even the that small amount of fees is gone straight away. So it's a very clean sound, which is nice because this song just needs to be clean. Uh, in the chorus part, uh, there's a synthesizer going on that does a tiddy tip. I played it on guitar with some gain. Not sure if I hit the right note though, because I don't hear the bass. Uh, so we do that. Uh, so that works out really nice with this guitar. Uh, and at the end, we do a bit of a metal outro with the same chords to bring it into the 21st century. on the bridge works perfect and then another one is human fly from the cramps uh, I changed the delay time a bit so I get a bit of a uh, slap back Can you hear it? Humbucking again. So this is clean again with some of the Wampler Tumblers. Uh, a very fun song to play. Uh, next one we have is uh, Forest Cure. There's quite a few ways to approach this song. Uh, I've decided to use a chorus, uh, and I've been told they didn't really use a chorus, uh, but the chorus sounds fine to me, and I use the humbucker as well to cut a bit better through the mix. They don't clash, they just support each other. It's, it's, it's really nice, I mean, in the room.
get it. I mean, even with these complex chord structures, the notes just work together. It's just you hear every note if you don't. <laughs> can sort of play the two guitar parts together and it's, it works and I really like it. The fact that they clash every now and again which is really nice. Uh, for this song I sort of bring the delay time down a bit so it gets bored, sort of borders on uh, slapback which I think works really well with this song. That's that one. Uh, then one of my favorites is uh, Shadow Play from uh, Joy Division. Uh, because it's full on and we play it quite heavy. Um, so yeah, this is just again Bridge Humbucket. is just spot on. I mean every note that you want to feed back feeds back. You hold you hold one note and you hope with some guitars you just hope like oh hope the right overtone comes out. And it's not always the case. And with this guitar the right overtone jumps out of you. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, Hollow Doors, yeah you might not know I think it's Virgin Prunes. Uh, this is not as well known as the other ones. It's two chords, it's A flat and it's E. <laughs> really thick. I, I use chorus, use delay, reverb, I mean quite a bit uh, of it, lots of gain from the amp. Uh, and in the verses I just play with feedback again. I mean the moment I put my fingers on the strings this really gorgeous warm nice feedback jumps out. There's nothing I have to do, I just have to, I'm pressing down the volume pedal. With the feedback, I try to uh, go from A flat to E. It's when it's louder, uh, and, the, and the and the verse, sorry, in the chords, just whack the chords out. Which is <laughs> and in the outro, I switch on the phaser as well to give it a bit more extra. <laughs> so it gets a little crazy there, which is nice. Uh, then last one I can show you is uh, Blue Monday from uh, Orgy. We, we don't do the, uh, the the original version. We do the one from Orgy, which is a bit more metal. Uh, chorus, a bit more of a modern sound, so I uh, turn up the delay time a bit. Play with the with the gain channel, and then it's. Uh, <laughs>
just uh, turn everything up. Um, go for it. So there you go. I think these are the most important. Oh no, yes, okay. Alice, there's a uh, uh, Sisters of Mercy song. What do I do here? I use nothing but the guitar and the overdrive channel of the of the. Uh, songs of the set. But there you go, this is uh, how I use uh, how I use uh, my uh, Siggy Brown Relic Strat uh, in real life. It's just not it's just giving you the sound but this is what I do with it and I must say I'm very pleased with uh, with this guitar. So he head over to their uh, Facebook, their website uh, Siggy Brown uh, and maybe they got the guitar for you. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Cheers. Out.